Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you today something that called action list. An action list is uh, things that you have to do today and the trick about this thing that you have to do today they have to be somehow connected to your overall objective or your strategic goal because otherwise it will be a lot of things that you have to do today that leads you nowhere. So how do we open the action list? So one way to open the action list is to go to the view menu and to go to this option, show action list. Obviously, uh, you can see here that uh, you can also press Alt F3. It will do the same thing. So I'm doing that and you've got the action list opened here. So let's see the different buttons here and what can be done. Okay, the first thing that can be done here is we can press this button and it will show you here a full calendar where you can select which date you want to work with. Obviously the brown uh, box around here indicate today and it also show here today. Or you can minimize it and see this line calendar. Okay. Uh, you can also hide totally this uh, calendar by pressing this button. And if you will do that, it will just open the uh, full calendar and if you will hide it again, it will show the line calendar. If you move to some kind of uh, a date in the, four, let's say the 14 or in the future, and we want to jump back to today, you just double click this and it will jump back to today. And you can say here, right click, show today. In this area, what we see here, we see the calendar. And um, you can select to see only one day. And this will be today, Sunday, or the second tomorrow. Etc. You can say that you want to see two days or three days, okay? And you can see, of course, the past, etc. Or here you'll see that I have some kind of an item that I was planning, uh, some kind of a calendar item that I was planning uh, to talk to Danny about plans. Um, what else do I see here? I can uh, divide the timing on uh, different intervals from 10 minutes intervals, so from 9 to 10 every 10 minutes, or I can divide it by 15 minutes, or I can divide it by half an hour. Um, with this item, I can move between the days. Okay, as you can see, I'm moving the dates and the date jump here. So if I move again here, you see the date jump to here, and it says here Saturday. I move to the right, and it's Sunday. And uh, obviously, I can close it, hide it, or open it from here. Okay, again, I'm going to this area. And when I press this button, this whole list has been uh, hidden. And if I press this button, it will show again this list here. Um, I can press this button and hide or show the menus here. Because usually you will not need to change it much. And again, I can move between the dates here. Okay, so as I move here, you'll notice here that I'm on the third. If I will press this right button again, it will move to the fourth. And I can jump back to today. Um, what I have in this area? Uh, in this area, I have the different production item, CRM item, anything that I have for today, anything that I have planned for today. So today I have all of these items, but uh, it's actually showing me today what I have to do today and what is also past due. So if I had to do something uh, yesterday and I didn't do that, it will show it to me automatically the next day and the next day until it will get to a done. Um, I can also type here in this area some kind of a text uh, called Bob. And when I press enter, it will give me this kind of a to-do list item. Uh, and I can just create quite a few of those. And the moment that it's completed, I can just click the button and it's disappear. If I want to see what has been completed for the day, I'll press this button and I will see all the completed item for today. Uh, if I will go for yesterday, I will see I had another item to call to alone. And if I go before that, I had more, etc. Okay, um, what are this, uh, what's this bar is doing? So we already know that this button 
show or hide the completed items. Okay, uh, here I can see show overdue task in the list for today. So meaning, uh, if I will select that, I will see only what I have to do today, only for that date. So for tomorrow, I will see only tomorrow. But if I select this first item, it will also show me the item that uh, has not been done from the past. So basically everything I need to do today. And the second option, show overdue task in list for tomorrow. So it says, okay, anything that I have to do that I did not do and is overdue, don't show them today only, but show them also tomorrow. So when I'll go tomorrow, you'll see I have more item here because they include all the items that I did not do uh, today. And if I will deselect that, it will show me only the item that I have to do tomorrow. What else I have on this uh, bar? If I press this button, I can say to show all production tasks or I can say to show only the item that are tagged for that day only. Uh, I assume you know what is tagging. If you don't, uh, watch the video in regards to tagging or go to help and uh, clear that word. Or I can say don't show me any production task. In this case, I will not see anything, obviously. Um, here is an item that allow me to uh, see CRM item or not. And that's all about this bar. Uh, an interesting thing is that I can take an item, uh, let's say I have this item, and I can move the date, if I'm allowed to move the date, by just dragging the item and putting it to the date that I want. I will not do that because I don't want to move the, this item, but if I will put it to the third, it will actually change the date for the third. Uh, another thing that I can do, uh, I can take an item, right-click it, and move it to a specific date and when I release the right click it will give me a few options. Uh, I can tag to a specific date, uh, I can tag it to a specific date and keep it in the inbox, I can move it or I can move just without anything just move the date or I can uh, move it with visual which means that it will allow me to write specific content to the date move. I will not do that I just press escape. That's it. Uh, this is a very nice and very powerful tool. It will help you. Thank you.